Hello professor, this is Amar. Today I'm going to show you the working of the second project, which is the WCL project. So this is my XML file, WCL.xml, and here you have all the transitions. So from start to OP1, OP1 to OP2. So in this I have from OP1 to OP10, and finally to the end transition. So this is the file I'm going to supply to my program. So here is my application and in this this is the index page and in this i need to select the wcl file to upload so i'm going to select the file and once i click upload it's going to show all the transitions for me so when i click on start it's going to get me op1 transition and if i click invoke it's going to invoke the rest web service and the time is also recorded here so similarly i can click on invoke here and again op3 is invoked at this time so this is the timestamp similarly i can go on pressing op6 then op8 then op10 till the end transition so this is how it's working so let me show you parallel execution of this project so for that i need to just put these transitions here mm, then in mozilla i'm going to do the same i have already uploaded the file and i need to click upload start again it's working here too so it's creating multiple objects to take multiple requests so they both are working in parallel go to chrome and still execute getting op3 rest service so now i'm going to show you the design of the project so this is how i design the project so you need to supply the wcl file and that file would be read and the dom parser would pass the wcl file and give me all the transitions then i would create an array of the transition and send it to ui and i would display the start transition there and once you click on start transition it would read the start uh, transition and then use the conversation handler and the code for that is in jquery so in that conversation handler all the uh, conversation starting from start would be picked up and shown j just like you saw in the uh, in the previous thing and then you'd have the invoke button for the new transitions and if you cl click on the invoke then it would call the rest service like op1 op2 op3 so on so and you would get the json response and then i'm displaying that json response so it this process would go on till you reach the end transition so that's the design of this project thank you for listening